Well, I've managed to make some interesting spaceships or artificial life forms in here. Uh, in my previous two videos, I had made a bit of a mistake, actually. Um, I, I've made a lot of changes to this program, uh, Breeding Gliders in Cellular Automata. Uh, it's not my program, it's Jeffrey Ventrella's. But um, I added in speciation, and in the process I also tweaked a few things. And one of the things that I tweaked is that if you pick one of these presets, um, and one of them does start up automatically, by the way, when, when you start the program. If you pick one of the presets, um, if you tell it uh, good or okay, it will save that preset as part of your population, and a as a member of your population, and then later on be able to use it um, as a potential parent to produce an offspring from. And this is how I actually ended up with the sliders um in my population now there there are ways to get around that but i i hadn't really thought about it because i was experimenting as i went and i ended up with some of the uh presets in my population as parents and and those sliders never went away i'll show you what the sliders look like um, i'm gonna go ahead go ahead and click good here and this is actually, if I'm not mistaken, the Las Vegas preset, or or something very close to it. Uh, I actually have put some some of the presets in uh, in this one as well. That's definitely not the Las Vegas, but I think it's a descendant of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click good on that as well and keep that one. And this one here, I'm going to I'm going to come back to it, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and click sliders just to show you what it looks like. And uh, this is the sliders that were in the other videos. And uh, because I kept clicking good whenever I had something like them, they basically didn't go away. Um, although the there were a lot of things that changed about the space that they were in, they kept showing up. Now notice right now I have uh, my parents at position 41 and 42 and offspring at position 43 that's these three little dots down here and what I can do since this is not actually an offspring of uh, members 41 and 42 of the population I can go here and hit sibling and it will produce a new offspring from those two parents and I go back to basically what I had before now if I don't like that particular offspring of those parents but I want to breed the same parents, I can hit offspring, I can hit sibling again. Notice it's still 41, 42, and 43. Go down here and hit sibling again. And it puts a new little egg in the center. And I can uh, watch and see how that one comes out. And it looks pretty much like the one I just had. I'm going to try one more time hitting sibling. And this one looks a little bit different but not much now what I can also do I've added in a mutate button which will mutate some gene in uh, the current cellular automata space and this one looks like it's uh, filling up the space more it's got some things shooting out the sides here but that's not what I'm looking for so I'm going to try mutating it again and I can always go back and hit another sibling if I decide to just get rid of all the mutations I've made but each time I hit mutate it actually adds another mutation to the current space so I can actually hit mutate several times in a row and watch for something to start out a little different and I'm actually looking for something that's not expanding like crazy my may or may not find something. I mean, eventually, if I hit it enough times, eventually I would. It may not even resemble what it started with by then. And there it goes. It's basically dying away. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that one. Now, the speciation 
that I've added in allows I seem to be running out of memory here computer is low on memory yeah so click OK get rid of that and that is not this program's fault by the way my Windows 8 computer does that all the time it's uh... well I think it's Windows 8 it's got four gigabytes of memory apparently that's not enough for Windows 8 uh, at any rate I'm gonna go ahead and click OK on this and I'll show you another feature that I've got see I could click OK on that and then just keep clicking OK and OK and OK or if you look over here the birth count so far is at uh, 166,297 now if you're wondering how did I get so many swim or not swim bots that's that's gene pool different program same designer uh, how many that how do they get so many cellular automata spaces born in this uh, breeding gliders in cellular automata obviously clicking OK or good one at a time that's going to take quite a while but down here in the lower right hand corner I have a button that says advance 1000 so right now it's 166297 click on this advance 1000 and now the birth count has gone to 167 297 and if I click on it a few more times you can see the birth count going up each time by a thousand and what it's actually doing is it's going ahead and evolving but without any kind of selection process well without a uh, without any selection criteria basically uh, what what it does do as a sort of selection is if for example you liked one particular cellular automata or not uh, one particular cellular automata space you like the way that particular space works and you click on good notice over here number 54 um, is the lowest one right now and so it's selected as the new offspring I click good and over here is number 54 um, all the way up at the top it's set it as uh, as a high level of fitness basically what that means is that it'll increase the chances of it being used as a parent and you can see right now it hasn't picked it as a parent it's got parents number 63 and 67 and if I click OK on something it'll again switch to a different place for the offspring and a new set of parents but whenever it picks an offspring somewhere in that general area it's got a higher chance of picking that as a parent than one of the other ones around there because it is marked as having a higher fitness course once you hit the advance 1000 that's not going to be showing anymore there's a good chance that uh, somewhere within that process it, it did use that one as a parent um, at least once if not maybe a few times but um, eventually it will uh, end up being used as a new space for an offspring just like the rest of them and your whole population gets replaced that way it's extremely unlikely after advancing a thousand that that any of the cellular automata spaces in your population are ones you started with before clicking the advance 1000 and if I click OK a few times until I get an offspring in the general area of something that I had a specific type of species in um, there over here I had sliders 
and you can see this doesn't look like sliders at all anymore. It's mixed stuff up a lot. And so what I can do is I can go ahead and click on sliders, and there's my sliders, and I can tell it good, which will put that as a high fitness, and then I can just click on OK until that gets selected as a parent again. I want to try to get this visible. Well, I can't and click OK at the same time. Mm, no, missed it. Let's see, did we get it this time? 52. No, I think it's 51. It looks like they're very close together. It's kind of hard to tell there. And if I try siblings, I should be able to find out if anything like them comes along. Doesn't look like it. So I'm going to try OK again. Oh, what I should have done. Here, I'll do it this way. I've got, right now, I've got an offspring near that area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click bad and what that does is it picks a new set of parents for that particular offspring so I can try to click bad enough times to see if I can get one of the parents to show up as 51 and there it is um, parent number two showed up as 51 and sure enough uh, it has sliders showing up now the thing is that's oh parents one and two are 51 so that was pretty much a guarantee so if I hit sibling you're gonna get sliders again and sibling and you will get sliders again because it, it actually is using the same parent as both parents so I'm gonna hit bad again a few times and see if I can get just one of the parents to be 51 and there we go now I've got uh, member 44 of the population and member 51 of the population and you can see this does not look like sliders and if I click sibling that doesn't look like sliders either nor does it look like what we just had as a matter of fact that looks a lot like the foraging preset hit sibling again and again if I keep hitting it, I may or may not eventually get something that looks a lot like sliders. There's something the color of the sliders, but I don't see any actual sliders coming out of it. I, should, I clicked too soon there. There was something interesting there. It wasn't sliders, but I should have taken a closer look at it. Too late. And no, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get anything that produces sliders out of this particular set of parents. This looks pretty close to it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it good here. And now I've got two of them with a high fitness level there. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK a few times until I get it picking another offspring in that general area. There we go, number 47 is being selected for and you can see already um, it has something that looks a lot like the uh, sliders it's it's not the sliders but it's a similar space and again it has picked the same parent uh, for both parents this time so I'm gonna go ahead and tell it bad to select two new parents for that offspring position I'll do that a few times and see if I can oh 
Oh, again? Really? Let's see. Oh, there is a new kind of glider, and that was quite unexpected. So, let's see, that is number 47, and so I'm going to go ahead and tell it that that's a good one, and go see if I can get 47 to be used as a parent again. And there it is. Number 47 is being used as a parent and number 48 is being used as the other parent. And you can see this looks more like the slider space than like that other interesting thing I just had. I'm going to go ahead and try a few siblings out and see what I get. And this looks similar to that one. I see something growing up toward the top here that resembles the type of movement that other one had. And here's something down on the bottom on the other side doing something very similar. And leaving a pattern behind it. So that's obviously going to hit the top and run into itself as it goes off the edge of the screen. So I'm going to tell it that one is good as well and that will place an offspring, this offspring in position 49. Telling it good. And again work my way back to that general species area. And here I have 47 and 49 being used as parents and 50 as the offspring. And I'm going to try a few siblings of that. See what we end up with. And there it looks like that's I think that's that same spaceship that I had last time, the same uh, artificial life form. It looks like it's going to run into this stuff and disappear. And so again, I'll tell it this one's good. And if you look over here in this area, you can see I have several that are marked good now. And Right now it's it's picking one from a different part of the population and you can see that doesn't look anything like the ones I was working on. So yeah, uh, a little more information on the uh, speciation that I've added and some of the other features I've been adding. I, I hope eventually Jeffrey Ventrella will get a look at what I'm doing and uh, get a hold of me because I have been unable to reach him and uh, maybe I can send him a copy of this.